Welcome to Chamber Chats. I'm Priscilla Monti, Senior Vice President for Programs and Communications at the Hampton Roads Chamber. And joining me today is one of my favorite people in Hampton Roads, Don Glenn, who is President for Virginia Beach and the Outer Banks, uh, for Hampton Roads and the Outer Banks for Town Bank. And Don, thank you for being here. It's wonderful to be here with you today, Priscilla, and to be here in person to actually handle this chat today. So exciting. We are slowly but surely getting back to the old ways, which is good. Back to normal. Yeah, yeah. So, Don, let's just start off. You are a founding member of Town Bank. Would tell us a little bit about what you do with Town Bank, and, and you are so invested in the community. Absolutely. As um, Priscilla said, I'm president of our Hampton Roads and Northeastern North Carolina market. I was a founded employee of our town bank, that family that started right here in Portsmouth, Virginia, right in Hampton Roads. So we're very proud of the long legacy that we've had here for over 20, 20, 22 years in the business community. Um, we started off with three offices back in 1999 and now have grown to over 40 branch locations throughout Hampton Roads, Richmond, Central North Carolina, and Northeastern North Carolina as well. So we're very proud that we've been able to grow to our bank to over $16 billion in assets. We've done that one friendship, one relationship at a time, like our friendship, Priscilla, introducing us to others here in the community. Um, the nonprofit community, the community as a whole, is very important to our Town Bank family. It's definitely the heart of our company. We definitely want and are committed to spending time investing in the small business community, the nonprofit community, so that we can improve this region day in and day well, out. Well, and there are a lot of businesses in Hampton Roads that would not have made it without the help of Town Bank through the pandemic, with the PPP loans and, and everything that you all did to help. Absolutely. It truly, um, I've been in banking now over 36 years. It was the most rewarding time in my financial banking career to be able to assist thousands of businesses throughout Virginia and North Carolina to secure those much needed PPP funds to allow their companies to continue to work, to continue to make a difference in each of our communities and region, and to protect all of the thousands of jobs for individuals that we all know. Friends that we see out yeah. and about in the community every day at church, the grocery store. And that's the backbone of our economy. So thank you, and thank you for not only helping those businesses, but also sticking with the chamber. I mean, we, we Town Bank stood by us the last two years as the State of the City series was changing every week. I would give somebody a call and say, you know what, okay, we're allowed 10 people in the room, we're allowed 20 people in the room, and, and you all stood by us, and we appreciate that. But this year, we have no restrictions, which is wonderful. We will obviously use precautions and, and safe uh, distancing and all of that, but we are welcoming everybody back together. How does that feel? Oh my goodness, it is wonderful. I can um, share with you all today, and I saw Priscilla at a chamber event last week, and it was so refreshing to be able to walk into a ballroom and see 150 people that care about growing and stimulating the economy here in this market. And I'm so looking forward to visiting each of the state of the city addresses and seeing so many colleagues from across each of our markets. And you've been at all of the states of the city through the years, and, and we've been through you know different mayors as they come into office. So let, let's just go city by city. So Virginia Beach will be our first one this year, and that'll start on, on March 16th, so day before St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. You'll have to wear your green I again. I will, mark my um, calendar so for that. What, you know, what, are we, what are you looking forward to in, in Virginia Beach? Well, we're very excited that that'll be our kickoff um, for the State of the Series. We're looking forward to hearing from Mayor Bobby Dyer and all of the excitement that I'm sure he will have to share with us. Um, the region did extremely well thanks to the strong tourism um, attributes that they bring to the state of, um, with the city of Virginia Beach. And I look forward to hopefully some exciting announcements of how they're going to continue to help stimulate the economy all throughout Virginia Beach and our entire region as well. We look forward to having Buffy Barefoot, president of our um, Virginia Beach region, will be introducing the mayor. Mm -hmm. And Buffy does such a lovely job, so yes. Chesapeake will be on March 24th with Mayor Rick West. Uh, last year he did it with his city manager. We're not sure yet what format he's using this year, but it was, it was, uh, it was very interesting the way that they presented last year. And I think that that creativity and that innovation is exciting yeah, to be absolutely. able to see what each of the mayors brings to um, the time that we are able to come together and learn and celebrate their successes 
and be excited and look for ways that we can work with them to help progress their initiatives in each of their cities. So we'll look forward to hearing everything that Mayor Rick West has to say at the upcoming State of the City of Chesapeake. Looking forward to a tremendous turnout there mm -hmm. as usual. And then Dave Hare, our president of Town Bank Chesapeake, will be introducing and kicking off that event for us as well. Wonderful. And then we, we follow up with Norfolk on April 7th with Mayor Kennedy, Kenneth Cooper Alexander. And there's a lot going on in Norfolk right now. There is a lot going on in Norfolk. Very excited about attending this state of the city and actually hearing all of the wonderful things going on in Norfolk. We're very excited. We actually um, were excited to add our name, Town Bank, to the previously Norfolk Southern building here in downtown Norfolk. So we're excited to hear about what else is coming yeah. for the city of Norfolk. Um, excited to hear about additional opportunities of how we can partner together as a region and we will look forward to our president, Charity Vallman, Norfolk president of Town Bank, introducing our mayor as well. And then um, Mayor Shannon Glover on April 13th will do the Portsmouth State of the City. So last year for Portsmouth we I believe had 25 people in the room we were limited to and so you know this year we're very excited we will be back at the Renaissance Hotel and, and hope to have 600 people there. It will definitely be a completely different afternoon for lunch. Yeah. I was actually at that mm -hmm. event last year and I don't think I've ever been in a conference space where there were only 25 <laughs> people. I think I had three people at my table that would normally see eight yeah. to ten. Um, but Mayor Sharon, Shannon Glover did a wonderful job um, with his first inaugural address and I look forward to him addressing a ballroom full of guests looking forward to hearing what is exciting is going to be going on in Portsmouth. Portsmouth is very near and dear to my heart. I was born and raised originally in Portsmouth and then we also started Town Bank. And Town Portsmouth Bank was born well. and raised in Portsmouth. We also. were born and well, raised and, right out of our garage. And of course both Norfolk and Portsmouth have the casinos coming online. Portsmouth has the um, company that's going to service the wind turbines and so there's a lot of economic development going in Portsmouth that that we've not heard on that scale before so that's so exciting it is very exciting and I love the idea of us having opportunities of how we can collaborate together mm -hmm. and I, that's one of the things I really enjoy is when we have an opportunity to attend these events and we see the mayors from the respective cities actually coming yeah. out and yeah. supporting each state of the city so it's showing and it's sending that message to other communities abroad from us that we really do work together to collaborate and make a difference for absolutely, our region. Absolutely, absolutely. And then Mayor Duman in Suffolk will be on May 24th and we will be back at the Hilton Garden. We had to shift last year to the Cultural Arts Center because the Hilton Garden was a vaccination station, um, but we're, we're back to the Hilton Garden and we'll have the dessert bar and, <laughs> and that's, a, that's another wonderful creative <laughs> event of how they utilize all of the space to help showcase what makes Suffolk different in our community as well. So we look forward to um, hearing from uh, Mayor Mike Duman and what he has to share with us as well. Um, again, Suffolk has so many opportunities to grow. There's so much land for them to develop in the future, mm -hmm. both from a, a residential real estate standpoint as well as businesses. You're constantly seeing lots of activity all throughout the city. So we look forward to our President Robert Cook introducing um, Mayor Duman and looking forward to another great event that will wrap up our state of yes, the city series. Yes, and so it, you know it's um, you know we've been through a lot in the last couple of years, and I think that we're seeing the businesses emerging, and and a lot of people are going back into the offices now, and that's when we hear the talk like, oh yeah, we need to go to that, and so we're we're hoping that everybody comes together and and you can reconnect with the people that you might not have seen for a little while, and and sort of re make those business connections that, that maybe fell off a little bit uh, because you didn't have the face-to-face -face for a little while. Um, so it's so important. I think we're all exhausted from the constant <laughs> Zoom meetings and WebEx meetings. We're ready for that emotional attachment and because I think that is what makes our community so different, the friendships that we've built across each of these cities. And it's so exciting to be able to have that opportunity to come together and share how you're doing personally, how your company yes. is doing, how each of us are making a difference and working really hard. And we have so much to be proud of that look at our region and what we've been able to accomplish over the last two years. We made Hampton it. Hampton Roads yeah. survived this. We've yeah. been open for business and we want to make sure we send the message 
all throughout the state of Virginia that Hampton Roads is open for business. Absolutely. In the Stay This City series, again, you can just go to our website and get all of the details and you will see Dawn at all of those states of the city. And we thank you to Town Bank for being our presenting sponsor again um, and recognizing how important this is for the community. Absolutely. It's a true partnership that we value. We appreciate everything that the Hampton Roads Chamber does for each and every business and each and every one of our communities. Thank you, Don Glenn, for being such a wonderful person and such an asset to our community. That wraps up this edition of Chamber Chat.